A music workshop leader is someone who uh, facilitates groups and individuals um, to work with, with me and with other people and with music. The space is really important to allow people that sort of quiet, that just that time and that space where they can switch off from the worries that they've got. I believe that music is a therapy and I think we can really create amazing impact um, using music and art, drama, whatever the medium is, um, and using that as a passive therapy, it really gets people talking. It's not necessarily um, the easiest um, kind of, you know, job or, you know, career path to take. The struggles, of course, is balancing your income, is planning ahead. A longer standing project like My Music enables you to start a project and build a bit of a foundation first. So everybody understands why they're there. Everybody starts to become comfortable with what's happening. Uh, people's confidence starts to build. If you can just relax about that whole struggle side, that can just relax and you can concentrate fully on the creativity, on where you're going with participants, focus on entirely on, th on them. If you're unsure of whether you're even going to be working on the same project even the next week, well, it's, it's naturally hard to get the same sense of connection and to know the participants as well as we have got to, you know, as well as we've got to know them. The relationship that you build with people when you're working with them long term, um, I think is a lot more meaningful because you get to see the wider angle kind of shots of the ups and downs of life and you get to kind of attune yourself to them as well. And the more kind of things we work through, you know, um, and use music to, to do that, um, the more impact we have. There have been numerous times where I've met people and done a project for maybe four or six weeks and they've enjoyed it, they've got a bit of a, a kick of confidence from it, um, they're enjoying music a little bit more, but that's kind of where it ends. We can't instill much more than that in people. Um, but when projects last for longer, there's a couple of people on Mike Music that I now know categorically if and when this project does end, they will still be making music and using these skills that we've taught them. Certain jobs I just go in and out of a school and I know the teachers and we have some, some connection, but at the Hive, we're part of a team. There have been people that have been a real support over several years of working with them at the Hive. And on this project, it's where I've first seen them step forward and lead things and really take control. Um, coming from a place of more confidence in themselves than they do. They've got perspectives that give me a more clear picture of what we're doing. There's things that I might miss, there's things that they might miss that we can kind of, you know, fill in for each other and have a much better picture of the value of what we're doing and how to do it, you know, well. When a national lockdown was called, um, it was a very mixed uh, bag of emotions that I don't think I could have ever predicted. I thought, well, right at the beginning, yeah, I thought that's that's it till till the pandemic's over. We're all effectively out of a job. When we hit lockdown, most pretty much everything that had going on, I'd get an email saying, you know, obviously we can't come with this, we can't go with this until further notice. So when the hive, you know kind of threw both us and the participants this lifeline, it was great to have something where you could have some sense of consistency and connection with what was before lockdown. The students were looking after us as much as we were looking after them, you know, and, you know, we'd go around and ask how everyone was and stuff, and they'd go, hang on, Beth, wait a minute. Are you all right? And we fed that into our, our creativity and, it's been exceptionally powerful. I remember sort of a, a year ago now where I was having conversations with people at the Hive and I was in tears, like it was that kind of level of emotion. For me, it was really important to have this lifeline to, you know, what I love to do, what my sort of job is, what my livelihood is, what my purpose is. The fact that whatever is put into artists is an investment, I think is a great way of summing up what the Hive does and what I now understand the Hive to do. And I think maybe before this project, I didn't fully understand it. 